concept okay see okay how to see the data select the stand from emp t now see the data it is giving one probably null so terim okay so what it done today discussing null concept tell me what is null what is null important for interview and real time what is null null undefined value is null is nothing undefined or unassigned or no value okay so okay so no value simple example you see okay nothing null is nothing or undefined or unassigned or no value okay okay so so simply it's what i can say there is no value there is no value okay yes suppose like simple example i got offer from cts for on site location tell me what is on site location anyone on site location is nothing but what client location client that is okay other okay outside india okay outside india. okay okay so if i want to go for on site what should i, I should have passport okay so what happened now? suppose i okay i join cognizant cts company cognizant the hr is so as of now as of now i am not holding any passport okay what happened now hr will say okay within 3 months if you apply if you 3 months if you get passport we will raise visa for you okay so suppose like if you not able to apply then what happened the company card doesn't apply visa same now tell me as of now i am not having any value uh, any value in the word value in the passport column okay so within 3 months if i have no i'll get the value simple thing is that word as of now i don't have the value in future we can able to expect so see as of now the value is nothing in future we can able to expect a value simply null is nothing or undefined or unassigned value clear so far now next point is that what okay how nulls will be populated this is important okay so as of now what understand why okay what is null null is nothing or undefined or unassigned value next one, how nulls will be populated tell me any idea how the nulls will be populated in the database table anyone any idea anyone how the nulls will be populated anyone now see how the nulls will be populated when when we are inserting the data when we exclude the column it will become okay see what happened so, simple example okay we'll go back and see so first point is that what is null so next point is that what how null sweep over the database table okay see the same is yes there are how many columns are there okay now having four columns are there out of four columns now what happened now i'm trying to insert how many columns two columns okay so remaining columns by default see what will happen remaining passport and salary by default will be null value okay so go back here so first of step is that word when we are inserting ignoring okay inserting 10 columns are there assume okay we are inserting six columns six values are the main remaining four columns by default what will by default null value will be popular Null value will be populated. Get the point, sir. Clear as a bell. Okay, so this is the end. See, ten columns are there. Out of ten columns, see here, four columns are there. Out of four columns, we are populating only ID name. Remaining two columns by default null value will be populated. Okay, so this is one. Second way is that what explicitly mentioning null. I'll explain. Okay, once again, okay, we go back here. This is one way. Other way is that what. <coughs> Mm, tell me how many see there are totally four columns are there out of four columns how many null values and how many not null how many null values proper tell me in this table and write execute uh, how many null values totally mm, totally three null values so three see by default what by default the passport and the salary will be null but what happens see explicitly i am mentioning what see id name what axis by default see id name we are having values So these two are null values. Passport salary. 
and what explicitly I am mentioning name for null value. Okay, see there will be totally so three nulls will be populated. Okay, so see the same thing hundred. So see by default first put salary null and explicitly we are mentioning null. Okay, so one more way is that explicitly mentioning null value. Clear so far? You can understand this is important. So see this is one of one way. So four columns populating two. Same thing. Now go now go back here. Now this is explicitly mentioning null value. Null value. Get it, sir? So there are four. Okay, see this mention. Same thing. Suppose like when I put in a single. Suppose like when I put small null, what will happen? It's a null or it's a different value? Small null. Hmm, tell me, it's a null or it's a different value? Small null. Hmm. It's a null or not? No. Null only. Null only. Null only. See, it can be up in upper case. So anything you can go for. Okay. Suppose when I put, suppose when I put in a single quote, uh, tell me it's a null or it's a string. It will be string. It will be string. Okay. See, when we exit, now what happens? See. Okay. See this data. Now see this string. What happened? Now it's a string. String. Okay. So don't put single quote. If I put single quote, it's like a string. Okay. This is not a null. Okay. So null. So no need of any single quote. We can put any upper case or lower. So this is thing. Okay. Now in a similar fashion, tell me how to add a new column. I want to add a new column. Uh, tell me how can I add a new column? Hmm, tell me how can I add a new column? By using alter statement. Okay, see. Okay. So how to see the data before that? Select a star from table. It is a projection of it project, all the columns and all the records. Now tell me uh, how to add alter table. Table name. Okay. And add column. Column, column. Suppose like I'm putting something like department ID number. Okay, now where it will get added the new column? Hmm. Last. Okay, see last. Now see there are five records are there. What about the values you'll have? Values you'll have. Now see new column added at department. Now what about the values? Nulls. Nulls. Okay, see. Null. Okay, see. By default, so it will be null value. See, department will be null. Okay, see, if I add one more column, now what happened? So it will be, it will be null. Okay, see. So, so when we add a new column, what happens? See, this is for a one more concept. Okay, see, otherwise that word, when we add a, add a new column, okay, so the records will be null. By default, records will be null. Okay, it is one. So this is the way. Suppose like, now see the same use case now. Uh, this entire column, I want to make it to null. How to modify the existing data? Uh, existing data, by which concept? I want to modify the existing data. Then, I tell me. We're using update. Update statement. Okay, see. Update EMPT. Set city equals to null. Okay, so get the answer. So, city, okay, see. Put the same equal on city. It is not there. No. Name. Okay. So name equal to now. See, all see for number of rows updated to five. Okay. See, now next step is that word by using update statement. We can get the point, sir. So clear so far. When we add a new column, like this we can add. Same thing, other than is that word by using update statement. We'll see one more time. So these are important. Okay. For entry perspective and real time. Now tell me what is null? Null is nothing undefined or unassigned okay or unassigned okay as of now there is no value for the particular column in future we can able to expect that okay next step that's what okay how nulls will be uh, populated tell me how the nulls will be populated hmm. anyone when we have when we have uh, five columns but we are entering the three column value then remaining are, will be the null okay why so while inserting we are Ignoring the columns. Okay, suppose columns. like five columns, three columns only populating, three main two columns, null value. Same thing, second concept is that word. So in setting ignore. Next step is that word, okay. M manually, okay, okay. So explicitly, explicitly mentioning, uh, mentioning null, null while inserting, while inserting. This is one. On other way, uh, tell me, other way is that word. So when we try to add by using alter statement. Alter when you try to add a 
new column add a new column okay then it will be like this what about the other value four this is why next step is about uh, when you try to uh, try to update update to, to null okay so there is like this else will be power product okay so null is nothing undefined or an assigned value next step is this thing same thing now go back here one more concept now go back here now this is fine now next step is that what why we want to handle nulls okay reason is that what anyone any idea why we want to handle nulls mm, why you want to handle nulls when we will handle the data with uh, null uh, it will give the result set as a null only okay so when we handle in the sense like what what will handle uh, suppose we want to perform some expression like mm. a sum or something if mm. uh, one value is null then it will give the uh, result set as a null only okay, that's good. okay so whatever the operations performed with the null it will give we'll see it will give null only okay operation in the sense like what addition subtraction multiplication anything will go for the same thing okay see go back here remove this value and put here okay so step by step understand okay so first we discuss what is null how null is powered next step is that what why we want to handle nulls okay go back here now take the same use case select the 1 plus 10 it will be 11 11 plus 10 it will be 21 plus null what will happen tell me uh, tell me null is nothing now tell me nothing now how can you now see 21 plus no value or will be what it will be what it will be it will be null only so we suppose if i put 30 it's a value we'll get a value but now what happened when i'm putting null now see what happened it is null so if i do any automatic operation like this you can do same thing now select 10 minus 100 it will be minus 90 minus null what, what will get tell me null null that's what we'll get null only. Null only. Null. So, what are the operation perform null? It will give null only. Same thing, select 1 into 10 into 10. It will be 100. Now, we are trying to multiply with null. What will happen? It will be null only. Same thing, select 10 by 2. It will be 2. Same thing, now what happened? Now, see, it will, what is output? It will be null. So, whatever the operation perform with null, it will give null only suppose like take the same use case p now r is there now tell me how to club two strings mm, how to club two strings mm, by using can cat operation or uh, pipe can cat or pipe okay same thing now now see now I have one more value c okay see it is working fine now i am trying to perform null then then Mm, where can, what are the operation perform it will what it will work or not what is the value you'll get you'll get null only null okay so get to the point so same thing so we'll take in oracle database little bit see okay so we should put table from dual okay now see what put anyone in here in oracle database so this is oracle database see we'll get we'll get prc okay suppose like take the same use case one plus two plus three plus null now what happened it will be it will be null only okay see except to concate everything will be null okay in oracle database but when you compare to in, in snowflake so it will be if you perform anything by it's an automatic operation it's a multiplication or see if you perform concat now it will be null only null only. so what are the operation perform with null it will give null only either it can be concate it can be any automatic operation see now see the same thing so why you want to have so what are the operation perform with null it will give Null only, so addition, subtraction, concatenation, anything, it will give null only, it will give null only. Get in the point, sir? See, so get in the point, sir? Now, see what happened one more time. So, just to discuss what the table, so employee table. Suppose like I want the list of tables, go for show tables, I forgot a table name, okay? So, what the table just now created? EMP created, I am doing the sorting. Okay, this is my table. So select star from this thing. Okay. Now what happens? Suppose like for all this column, I want to put 70,000 something. Okay. So how to modify update EMP? Uh, tell me set salary equals to something like 70,000. Okay. For all the records. Okay. 
So see the same thing. Five records separated. Now try to insert a one more record. Insert into EMPT ID name values. ID something like nine. Okay, some wrong. Okay. Now see by default remaining columns will be null values. Null. Select start from TMD. Okay, now this is fine. Okay, so now suppose like I want to remove these two columns. How to remove these two columns? Mm. Anyone? I want to remove these two columns. How can I remove? By using alter. Alter okay, statement. Alter table, table name, drop, column, uh, department ID. Okay, so department ID. So it's a alter say DD. It is by default and auto commentable. Okay, now see. Okay, that's not exist. Now see, this is the value. Okay, this is fine. Now see the same thing. Now, now requires that what? Okay, assume like say so, okay. So like a Sankaran, they assume like okay. So Sankaran. Okay, they what one? Suppose like they want to give. They want to give. Okay, so because of this festival, they want to give thousand okay, five thousand rupees for all the employees. So five thousand rupees increment. Now tell me, so existing salary said I want to add five thousand. How can I add? Uh, tell me how can I add? Mm, how can I add to the all the employees? I want add five thousand. See salary plus uh, plus five thousand. Okay. Now see it will get seventy-five thousand, seventy-five thousand, seventy-five thousand, seventy-five thousand, seventy-five. What about this value? It will be what? So five thousand or what? Null. You see? Now see the same thing. Try to execute this value. Okay, it will be seventy-five thousand, seventy-five thousand. But what happens? See because Null plus five thousand. It's a five thousand. But tell me, he's also employee. He joined recently, but he's also get five thousand. But we are getting data incorrect. Data we are not getting accurately because so what are the operation performed with null? It will give it will give null. But actually, he should get what? He should get five thousand. Clear so far. But this is not the correct way. Get the wrong answer. See now. See one more time. So all the employees as a part of all the employees, he should get five thousand. But so this guy joined recently, but salary is not updated. That's why it's getting null. So now requires that what I want at five thousand for all the employees, but you see he is getting null, but it is not correct it's because data is not getting correct because so what are the operation perform with null? It will give null only, but it is not a correct data is not accurate. Now I want to make this data accurate. Then next step is that what? Next step is that what? So next step is how to handle nulls. So getting the point. So this data is not correct. Okay, see. I want to populate correct data. Then how can I populate correct data? We should go for what? Okay, null handling. Okay, so ultimately I should get here five thousand. Then how can I get null five thousand? We should handle null values. How can I handle null values? We'll see the same thing. Ah, tell me, by using what? By using anyone any day. So NBL, NBL two, then coils. Okay, see NBL, NBL two coils. By this we can able to handle. Now see we are getting the points so actually. For this employees also, we should get five thousand because what are the operation perform with null? It is giving null only. This is not correct. We need to we need to have five thousand. How can you get the five thousand? We should handle null values. How can null null values be using NBL NBL two coils? See one more time. So null is nothing undefined unassigned value. How null should be operated by using inserting ignoring the columns explicitly mentioning null. Add a new column, update a null. Column. Same thing. Next time is that what? Why we want to uh, handle null? Tell me why you want to handle nulls because whatever the arithmetic operations or any operations perform with null, null what will you will you null only? It is not your data will not be correct. Okay, so this is correct. Next is that how can we handle null values by using what? As I now discussed, NVL NVL to coils. Okay, like this step by step one as an again. Go back here. First we'll see n where n where say it's a null well. Okay, one second, give me one second.
okay see the same thing okay see n value is nothing but say null value okay null value okay see n value is null, null value see how many arguments will have two arguments i'll explain the same thing two arguments okay let's see okay here n value will have three arguments i will explain what exactly these things okay see, okay let's say n arguments so, okay see Okay, n will n will to quails. Okay, two arguments, three arguments, n arguments. So go back here. Okay, see two arguments, three arguments, n arguments. Okay, now go back here. Now try to see n will hundred comma two hundred. Now see the same thing. Let somewhere it will hundred. Same thing. Now when I put null, it will give two hundred. Same thing when I put Null, null, it is. Null. Tell me, anybody can able to understand what exactly it is giving 100, it is giving 200, it is giving null. Any idea? Anyone? Expression 1 is null, it will return expression 2, otherwise, it will, it will return expression 1. Okay, so before that, understand, go back here. Now try to see select stars from employee in the employee table. So Copy all these things. Okay, see the same thing. Now, see before that, understand these are what? These are not null values, not null values, not null values, not null values. Okay, so not null values. Okay, so what about this, these things? These are null values null values okay understand this other than null values those are not null values okay these are null other one those are not null values null values one more time get the points are clear as so far so these are these are not null values okay so go back here now same thing now come back to our use case now what to discuss okay see okay select the same use case select nvl 100 comma 200 now see it's having two arguments okay first argument and second argument see first argument is what it's a not null value not null value first argument it's a what not null. not null see output will be not see it will give first not null value okay see there are two arguments are there okay first argument second argument if first argument is not not null, it will be 100 only same thing suppose like nvl nvl okay see if expression one is null so returns expression two otherwise returns expression see this is the expression one expression two if ex expression one is null it will be the expression two otherwise expression one. okay see if first argument is null value it will go for second see i put null comma 200 now what happened tell me see first argument is null value to the second expression is 200 same thing nvl null comma null what happened tell me so see okay like this way i can have it here okay get the pencil bread list 100 comma 200 null comma see first argument first expression is not null will pick that one first expression is null will pick the second expression if first expression is null second expression null, it will be the second expression get the pencil bit one more time suppose like select nvl a comma b uh, tell me first argument is not null to give that expression the same thing nvl null comma two tell me what the output output is what so it is the first argument is null it pick the second argument same thing nvl null comma null now see what happened that is null only first expression is not null do this value null do the second argument it can be null or it can be a okay at the point set pick the first not null value it will it will pick the first not Null value if it is null value to that value. Get the points. Huh? Same thing. What about NVL2? NVL2. Hmm, see, copy the same thing. What about NVL2? Any idea? Anyone? Anyone know, sir? Previously. Expression one. Okay. Uh, expression one. Expression one is null means it will return expression two, otherwise it will return expression three. One more time. Expression one is not null, hmm. it will return expression two. Okay. Otherwise, it will return expression three. 
okay see correct you see what happened so nvl it is having what say three arguments now tell me first to see i will explain the same thing now output will be two okay see same thing now i put null what happened you output will be three if i put null comma null what happens to you output will be null same thing now suppose if i put one null i'll explain okay see i'll give null on the same thing null 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 okay null okay see anybody any idea see what happened so see you're getting two you're getting three you're getting null you're getting null so anyone any idea see why you're getting two anyone any idea anything anything follow so you see anything okay take a screenshot now it's having three arguments will be there okay so n will have two arguments n will two will have three arguments okay see the same use case now see first n will one comma two see first expression is not null value it pick the second value okay see one more time the first expression is what it's a not null value. pick the second expression or second other is two if I expression one is null what happened you pick the third argument third argument same thing if expression one is null you pick the third argument if expression is one not null pick the second argument get it point so if expression null pick the third argument so see remember one thing if first expression is null not null pick the second uh, expression if first expression is null with the third expression get the point sir if you're not able to follow see this use case select nvl2 so it returns values depends on whether the first input is null or not nvl2 okay one comma two comma three now what happened first expression is not null value to pick the second expression that is two get the point same thing nvl2 null comma 2 comma 3. Now first expression is null value pick which, which expression? Which argument? Mm. Which argument? Expression 3. Expression 3. Expression 3. Okay. Same thing. Now what happened? NVL2. Okay. 1 comma null comma 3. Then first expression is not null value. Pick the second expression that is null no. value. Null value. Okay. See? Okay, it won't be bother for first argument. First argument is not will pick the second one. If it is null, it will pick the third one. Okay, same thing. Now NVL2. So these are important. Okay, for interview and real then okay, null comma null then which will it pick? First, second, or third? Mm, which will it pick? Second mm. one, null. Second one. Why second one? Third one. Third one. Third one. See, first, Sorry. first one is one. not yeah. null. It will pick the third one as well. Third null value. Okay, see, NVL will have first argument is not null, pick that value. But you have three arguments. If it is hand, it is used to handle not null values as well as null values. So remember important. So NVL can handle only only null values. Only null values. Okay, if you see only null values. Okay, see what happened. What I see if it is null, not null, pick this value. If it is null, it will be so it is only handling null values but nvl2 can handle null values if it is null it, it can be right not null see if it is not, not null would be null values so it is handle null values as well as not null values one more time so nvl can handle only null values if it is null only we can able to get this value otherwise we we'll get a only same thing see here if it is not null it is picking different value if it is null it is picking different so nvl2 can handle both null values Null values handle both null and not null values. Get to the point, this is important. Okay. Same use case. Now, one more thing, we're having coils. Okay, see. Coils. Okay, coils. How many arguments? It is having n arguments. Okay, see this one you can able to understand. Okay, see. n arguments. Okay, see the same thing. Coils. Coils. 1, comma, 2, comma, 3. Okay, output will be 1. Same thing. Null. Okay, or would it be two? Same thing. Now I'm putting hundred. Now output will be hundred. So simple only. Okay, see the same thing. Hundred. Same thing. Suppose like I'm putting. So minimum two arguments. Okay, maximum n number of. Now output will be two. Same thing. Now I'm putting. Now see output will be nineteen. I guess. Same thing. I'm putting. Tell me anyone what is out what why, why are you getting C1? 
rating 2, we are rating 100, rating 2, we are rating 19, and we are rating null. Uh, tell me, anyone, what is the, what's the thing? But expression 1 is not null, it will return expression 1, otherwise it will return expression 2. For hmm. example, expression 1 is null, it will return expression 2. Hmm. They don't go for a... Uh, uh, if you have 10 expressions, then if you have 10 expressions, then they so don't simply, so simply now what happens simply can go for okay. So it will pick first not null value. That's it. Okay, give me one one minute, I'll back one. Okay, okay, tell me, see what happened. So, see, it is having n arguments. It will pick first not null value. See, this is the first not null value. First not null value. First not null value. First not null value. First. So, same as, same as n well. Uh, tell me the difference between n well versus who else? Anyone? Okay, tell me. For example, n well, first parameter is not null. It will return a first parameter. Okay, what then? What's the difference? Uh, here, um, only null values only it will handle in n well function. Mm. What about coils? Mm. So both are same, remember? So both are same. But difference is that what? Difference is that it is n well has only the arguments will be okay. Coils will have n arguments. Are same. Yeah, yeah, argument. That's what okay. So both are same. Okay, it will be the first not null value. In end, we have two arguments, but in coils, we'll have n number of arguments. Same thing, now see, copy the same value. Now see what happens, so see. Now what is the output we'll get, we'll get. So A, 2, now same thing. Now go back and output coils. Coils, okay, see. Right, right, okay. See, see. So see what's saying when you see now here only the answer will be there here. So coils returns the first not null expression among its arguments are null if all the expressions are null. Link expression come back. Okay. So see the same thing. Okay, see the copy the same value. Now see a to null. Same will get a to null. Okay, okay. So same thing. So it's same as n well, but difference is that what will have n arguments and here two arguments. Okay, so it will pick the first not null expression. See the answer here only the definition they're putting. So coils.